tonight. Guys come up a little bit short. From your perspective of, of things, you know, when you get a, an effort like that out of yourself, is it tougher to kind of see that, you know, just wasn't enough? Or, you know, are you, are you encouraged a little bit to know that there's just a little bit more that needs to be done and you guys can get a, get a couple wins to put together? Yeah, definitely. I think both sides. Uh, I mean, every game as a goalie, you want to give your chance or give your team a chance to win. So um, that's a focus first and foremost. But I think more importantly, you, you want to win. Um, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what it takes, how you get it done, but you want to win. So um, frustrating with the result, but I mean, you look personally at it and, um, you know, gave the team a chance to win. And um, yeah, I mean, we'll work on some things and move forward here with it. Now, as the team's going through this portion of the schedule, you know, you're getting to the, the back end of January and kind of the playoff push starts to, to loom around. What is the mentality of the room like right now, especially with a roster that's kind of in flux? Yeah, I mean, mood's still good. Uh, it's no secret our roster has been depleted a little bit with injuries and uh, call-ups and everything else going on. So, uh, you know, we're doing our best to give the best product on ice with what we have and the tools we have in the room. So, uh, mood's good. I mean, it, it's all part of a long season, the ups and downs, and um, it's about minimizing the downs for sure. So that's our focus right now is trying to turn the page, trying to get better and, um, you know, going a little bit of a run. So, uh, yeah, we're looking to have a good couple games here before the break, have a great break, get some rest and uh, come back and build off it. Now you've been part of the goaltending trio all season with Colin and Kevin. Did you expect it to be the three of you guys all year or is it kind of a surprise that, you know, the, the, the ice time has been divvied out the, the way it has been this year? Yeah, I mean, you never really know coming into the seasons um, how things are going to play out. I think we've definitely done really well with the three of us here and, and managing the ice time and, um, you know, making most of your opportunity. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been it's a good thing that everyone's healthy. But as far as, you know, having three guys here, yeah, it is um, a little bit tougher sometimes to, to divvy up the minutes. But um, we've done well with it so far. And, um, you know, we're going to keep keep doing what we've been doing and um, yeah just working on what we can and doing our best to uh, give the team a chance to win no matter who's in any night. You guys are going through a stretch of the schedule where I think it's like your next 10 or a 10 game stretch where you know you don't really even leave a you know a couple mile radius of, of Rockford you know go to Milwaukee now but um, having these games be so close to home uh, barely on the road so to say what's the mentality like for that as you know you get to this point of the season yeah it's huge I mean definitely the travel takes a toll on your body and uh, mentally as well throughout the ups and downs of the season so anytime you get stretches like this where you can stay home sleep in your own bed most nights you want to definitely take advantage um, you know it, it is also a good time to you know come to the rink a lot and tweak things and work on things as opposed to spending time on on a bus or a plane for sure but um, yeah I mean we definitely want to take advantage of uh, the opportunity we have and, and playing a lot of games at home or you know just day trips so um, yeah we just got to flip the script here and and keep moving forward with it